गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स नमस्कार आज हम लोग क्लास सिक्स का साइंस पढ़ेंगे सोर्स ऑफ फूड सोर्स का मतलब क्या हो गया मतलब किन किन जगहों से हम लोग फूड को प्राप्त करते हैं इस वीडियो में स्टूडेंट्स हम लोग इसी के बारे में पढ़ने वाले हैं जैसा कि हम लोग जानते हैं कि फूड भी अलग अलग वैरायटी का होता है ठीक है या तो फूड जो है हम लोग को किस रूप में मिलेगा बोलिए या तो सॉलिड रूप में मिल रहा है फूड हम लोग को ठीक ना या फिर मतलब अलग अलग कैटेगरी में फूड हम लोग को मतलब या तो हम लोग को प्लांट से फूड को मिल रहा है या एनिमल से फूड को मिल रहा है तो यही क्या है हमारा पूरा सोर्स है जैसे प्लांट में भी होता है बहुत सा फूड ऐसा है जिसका हम लोग रूट पार्ट खा रहे हैं बहुत सा फूड ऐसा है जिसका स्टेम पार्ट हम लोग खा रहे बहुत सा फूड ऐसा है जिसका हम लोग रूट पार्ट खा रहे हैं लीफ खा रहे हैं तो ये उसका पार्ट है बस मोर है तो इस चैप्टर में हम लोग उसी की तरह जैसे कि अगर बात करते हैं हम एनिमल सोर्सेस का तो एग के रूप में फूड ले रहे मिल्क के रूप में फूड ले रहे हैं मीट्स के रूप में फूड ले रहे हैं प्लस के रूप में फूड ले रहे हैं तो ये जो भी चीज है ये है सोर्स ऑफ फूड फूड को हम लोग किन किन जगहों से ले सकते हैं तो बेसिकली याद रहे क्या बोले कि फूड लेने का दो सोर्स है एक सोर्स हमारा क्या है प्लांट है और एक सोर्स क्या है हमारा एनिमल है बस मेरे है तो इसी के बारे में हम लोग इसमें पढ़ेंगे पूरे चैप्टर में ठीक है तो आप लोग ध्यान से इस वीडियो को देखिएगा ठीक ना कोई भी समस्या होगा वीडियो देखने के बाद आप पहले बुक स्टडी कीजिएगा वीडियो देखिएगा नहीं समझ में आएगा आप फोन कीजिएगा आपको समय देंगे फोन पे अगर हो सकता है तो फोन पे डील कर दें और नहीं हो पाएगा तो फिर आपको समय देंगे विद्यालय आइएगा फिर आपको इसको अच्छे से बता देंगे ठीक है वीडियो देखिएगा sources of food we all eat food every day right some foods we eat are raw some are cooked and some are a mixture of various ingredients have you ever thought about where all these foods come from come let us find out before we find out where the foods come from let us briefly understand the importance of food we can define food as any substance that is used as a source of nourishment by an organism food is required to survive and be healthy obtain energy build tissue to grow and develop now sometimes when we fall down when playing and get hurt the skin that is bruised grows back in a few days have you ever wondered how this happens this is because of the nourishment obtained from the food we eat food is therefore important as it enables the body to repair and replace worn out tissues it also keeps the body healthy and helps it fight against diseases nutrients can be defined as chemical substances present in food that provide nourishment which is essential for growth and maintenance of our body let us now move on to the main topic which is sources of food a large variety of food is available in different forms this is due to the fact that food habits differ according to a place a person lives in and the different seasons that we experience throughout the year for example mangoes are available in summer and strawberries are available in winter this is with respect to the different seasons now with respect to place chapatis as we have seen are famous in north india while rice is famous in the south food items can be eaten raw or prepared by mixing individual food items can you give a few food items that can be eaten raw yes fruits and vegetables can be eaten raw whereas food items such as idli dosa dhokla and cakes are prepared by mixing food items ingredients are the different food items that make up a delicious dish if you have ever tried making a dish or if you ask your mother that if she is trying to make a new dish she might tell you that when she goes through the recipe there are a list of ingredients that are mentioned to make up a dish do you know the ingredients present in cooked rice it is rice and water on the other hand what are the ingredients for making biryani there is rice water salt spices vegetables meat and oil food can be obtained from both plants and animals let us first look at foods obtained from food can be obtained from both plants and animals let us first look at foods obtained from plants cereals are seeds mostly obtained from grasses such as barley wheat 
wheat, maize, millet, oats, rice and dry. As we saw earlier, rice is popular in the southern and eastern parts of India while wheat is popular in the northern and western parts of India. Wheat is ground into flour to make bread, macaroni and noodles. Don't we all love macaroni and noodles? The next type of foods obtained from plants are fruits and vegetables. Fruits are formed from the flowers of different plants. For example, banana, apple, orange, plum, etc. Vegetables can be obtained from different parts of a plant such as root vegetables. For example, potato, carrots, radish, there is even vegetables which are spinach and lettuce. The third one is fruit vegetables where there is pumpkin, okra, tomatoes. Did you know tomatoes were fruit vegetables? We all thought it was just a vegetable. However, tomato is also known as a fruit vegetable. Inflorescence vegetables such as broccoli, cauliflower. They are called inflorescence vegetables because they are part of the flower of that plant. Next we have stem vegetables. These are bamboo shoots, asparagus, etc. Other foods that we get from plants include nuts such as groundnuts, cashew nuts, peanuts. There are herbs such as coriander, mint, celery and parsley. Oils such as sesame oil, sunflower oil, mustard oil which are obtained from the seeds of sesame, sunflower and mustard plants. Beverages such as coffee, cocoa and tea are obtained from coffee beans, cocoa beans and tea leaves. Spices such as cardamom, cloves and cinnamon are also obtained from plants. These are the ones which give flavor to our food. Let us now find out what are the various foods that are obtained from animals. First, we have meat. Meat refers to the muscles and other parts of an animal's body that we eat. We may get meat from fish, poultry, cattle and sheep. Next, we have eggs. These are obtained from hens, ducks and fish. Third one is milk and its produce. These are obtained from cows, goats, camels and other such animals. In some milk products are butter, buttermilk, cheese, cream and curd which is also known as yogurt. Honey is produced by bees. Honeybees convert the nectar that they collect from flowers into honey. They store this honey in their hives. Let us now look at what are the various food habits of animals. Plants make their own food by the process of photosynthesis. We all know that photosynthesis is the process through which plants make their own food with the help of carbon dioxide and water in the presence of sunlight. All animals including humans depend on plants for food since they cannot make their own food. They either eat plants or other animals that eat plants. Animals are herbivores, carnivores or omnivores depending on what they eat. Let us first understand what is meant by herbivores. Plant eating animals like cows, horses, elephants are known as herbivores. Animals like squirrels and mice have sharp cutting teeth in the front. They use this to eat seeds and nuts. Animals like cows and buffaloes have flat and blunt molars which they use to chew and grind grass. This is called mastication. If you observe cows sitting around on the road or in a garden, you will see that they are sitting in one place and chewing. This process is known as mastication. Next we have carnivores. Animals that eat other animals are known as carnivores. For example, lions, wolves, eagles. As against herbivores which eat only plants, carnivores eat only other animals. Carnivorous birds have strong pointed beaks used to tear flesh. Carnivorous animals have long, sharp canines as you can see in this picture of this lioness which helps them to tear meat. Frogs have a long sticky tongue which they use to catch their prey. Snakes on the other hand swallow their prey as a whole and thus have small teeth. Third category we have is omnivores. Animals that eat both plants and animals are known as omnivores. Humans are omnivores as they eat both plants and animals. Some carnivores and omnivores do not kill other animals for food. Instead, they consume the meat of animals that are already dead. For example, vultures, crows, jackals, etc. Let us move on to understand.
understand what is meant by food chain. The feeding relationship between animals is called a food chain. A food chain shows the interdependence of organisms on each other. Interdependence of organisms means how a plant is dependent on an animal, how an animal is dependent on a human being and how a human being is interdependent on plants. All food chains start with green plants. Let us understand what is a primary food chain. First we have green plants which are known as producers. Next we have primary consumers, for example a goat. Next we have secondary consumers which are human beings. This shows the interdependence between plants, animals and human beings. So children, in this video, we learned that food is important for nourishment, growth and development of the body. Foods are obtained from both plants and animals. Animals can be herbivores, carnivores or omnivores. We also learned that humans are omnivores. The feeding relationship between animals is known as food chain. Hope you enjoyed watching this video and learned the various sources of food and its importance. We take a quiz or read notes on this chapter. Click on the link below. Thank you. Food comes from different sources like plants and animals. Food from plants. We get food from the stems, leaves, roots and fruits of the plants. Potato and sugarcane are stems. We also eat the stem of the lotus plant. We eat the leaves of spinach and lettuce plants. Carrots and beetroots are roots. We get fruits like mangoes and apples from plants. We get cereals like wheat, rice, jowar, baja, maize, ragi, oats, and barley from the plants. We cannot eat cereals raw. Cereals are cooked into any food form and eaten. For example, we eat wheat in the form of chapati. We also get pulses like chickpeas, kidney beans, green grams from plants. We get nuts like almonds, cashews, pistachios from plants. Plants also give us herbs like Basil, coriander, mint, and parsley. We also get spices like turmeric, red chili, and pepper from plants. Herbs and spices add flavor to our food. Food from animals. We get dairy products, meat, eggs and seafood from animals. The dairy products like cheese, butter, and curd are made from the milk of cows, buffaloes, and goats. We get eggs from hens. We get meat from goats, chicken from 
hens and cocks. We get seafood from crab, fish, lobster, 